Hello folks, my name is Mark Galvin and I am with ePresence. And what we do at ePresence, so we're a social media agency. We're a full service social media agency. So uh, hopefully I get a chance to meet all of you at some time. What I'm doing tonight is I'm giving you a video that will show you how you can use a timer and make it its own slide in your Zoom meetings, in your PowerCore team meetings. So what this will do is it will appear like a participant, quite frankly, whether someone's sharing your screen or not, you'll still be able to see your timer. So let's get into this. I'm going to pop over onto my, my uh, monitor on the other side here. And the first thing we want to do is we got to download an application that allow you to do this. So a couple of things before we get into this, the first is I should have said this before, you have to have a second computer to do this. So you'll need a computer that you will use as your regular computer. And it's the one that I would suggest you just continue to the same one you've always had. You need a second one. And that second one will not be used to see you at all. It can sit on the side and you can just run your timer from it. Once you get everything set up, you're just gonna run the timer. It's like you have a second timer at your desk. So have a second computer. It needs to connect to Zoom in its own connection. It does not share that connection with your regular Zoom computer. Okay, so with that said, let's go in here and show you how you'll download some applications. So the first thing we wanna do is we need to download a program called Logitech Capture. And I'm gonna show you, you just go in and you can do a search. So I'm just gonna pop in here and do a search for it. I gave you the link, so it's there in the email that you have. But if you type in Logitech Capture, it's going to come up as the first option. So here it is, the very first option here. You do not need an account for Logitech. If you have one, great. But once you need to pick whichever version that you should have on your computer. Uh, mine, my uh, computer is a Windows uh, 10 64-bit. I'm gonna click this and it'll start to download. We'll see, it. there it is, it's starting to download right now. So that'll download to my computer. That's what you should do, download. I've already got it on my computer, so I'm not gonna install. What we'll do next is we need to, we need to have a, uh, we need a compute, excuse me, we need a, an alarm, we need a timer. So where are you gonna get one? You may have one, you may wanna go out and find one. I personally like the one that's sitting right on Windows itself. So I'm in the Windows menu. I'm gonna go to the A option for alarms and clock. And when I open this, what you'll see is you've got all these options. Are This is the clock timer deal that comes with Windows. I'm going to go to timers and I set these up. So I've got a seven minute, a one minute and a 30 second timer. If you want to add one, this is how you simply do that. Go into the bottom corner, look at the little plus button, click the plus button, and then you can add whatever time you want and it will save it, which is totally cool. And you can name it if you want to name it. So once you have the timer set, they appear right here on the screen. They've got the little expanding button um, to maximize it. And there it is for the whole screen. So that's how you get the timer. Now we're good. We've got Logitech Capture installed. We've got our alarm clock set. What do we do next? Now we have to tell Logitech that this is going to be what we want it to look at because what Logitech will do is it will tell our that our screen is no longer a camera. We're not looking for a camera. We're actually looking for our specific screen. So here it is. I got Logitech Capture installed. I'm gonna open it and it went somewhere. Let's get that on the screen. There we go. It's install it's uh, opening up there. And this is what it'll look like the first time. You may have some registration information that'll show up. And when you get there, the first thing that you'll see is it'll look like this. It'll say none. And what you'll want to do, oh, there's an update. I'll do that later. So we'll come back to that. And you, yours will download and it'll have all of the information. But anyway, you've got a couple of options up here. You've got a box number one, a box number two. We want to stay on box one and we want to select a source. The source we want is the screen, the display that'll have the timer. So let's click display one and see if that's it. That's not it. I said I have more than one displays, so that ain't it. We're going to go to display two. If you only have one display, this will be super easy because it's only going to display the one. So we're, we want display three as it turns out. 
I know we're on the right screen. This is what you want. So this is kind of like that mirror effect where you're standing in front of two different mirrors and you see it bouncing back and forth and your image goes forever. That's what we're seeing here. That is what we want. Once you see this, you know you're on the right screen. What do we do now? We're going to minimize it. We don't need to see this anymore. We don't close it. We're going to minimize it. And then we're going to fill up our screen with our timer. So what we've got is we have Logitech uh, uh, Capture open. It's pointing to the screen. We've minimized it. Now we have our clock on our screen. We have it maximized. What do we do now? Now we're going to connect to our Zoom meeting. So I'm going to go down to here, click Zoom. It's going to pop up on the screen. I've already got my Zoom meeting set. You should make sure that you're clicking a link. I'm sure all of you have a link for it. Um, we're not going to connect audio. We don't want to turn off our video. So I'm going to hit Join and it's going to work on joining. Now it's going to probably point to my camera on my computer. So here's the camera. This is the one on this side because I have three going on, a lot going on here, right? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come down here to the bottom corner, click the little carrot on the, on the video button on the bottom left-hand corner. You don't see, there it is. That little button right there, we're gonna click the carrot and we wanna find Logitech Capture. Chances are, you're not gonna have all these options like I have. I am a whack job and I've got tons of technology connected to my computer. You're looking for Logitech Capture. You'll probably only see your integrated camera, that one, and Logitech Capture. So it'll be a lot easier. But anyway, select Logitech Capture, watch what happens. It now is capturing this screen, which is move zoom to another screen, get it off of here. We're going to minimize zoom on this screen. And what do we have? I'm going to show you. This is so great. Here is what everybody else will see. You can see the timer. I'm going to start the timer. You'll see it counting down. It's a tile in the Zoom meeting. So this laptop, I'm going to move it over here, is my primary laptop. And so I'll interact with this one. The other one over here is my iPad. I should probably cover up that button like that. It'll make it easier. So there's my iPad. This is my primary computer. I will interact with everybody on that computer. This is where I'll do all my information. But the second computer I've got set up over here. When somebody's through with their one minute, I hit reset on the bottom corner here. Notice it resets and that tile is there. Here's what will happen. If you've got 12, if you have 20, if you have as many number of people, that tile will always appear and you'll always be able to see it. It's the best way to keep the time. If you when it's when you need a seven minute, we're going to click the little uh, minimize button here. I'm going to stop that timer, and then I'm going to click uh, the maximize for seven. So when we have our seven minute presentation, so I hit start again. You can see it on the screen. There it is. Everybody will be able to keep track of it. So that's how you keep track. That's how you do this. If you have any questions, you're welcome to hit me uh, hit me with an email. My email is Mark at epresence.me. That's mark at epresence.me because it's all about you, not .com, .me. Send me a question. I'll be happy to help you. If um, otherwise, I think you'll like this solution and I look forward to hearing about the successes. Have a great day.